to him. There have been other headline makers in the FA Cup, but it is Liverpool who have made the headlines on what has been an epic cup final, an epic journey from the minute the referee Craig Pawson had a first blast on the whistle. Liverpool had to overcome some setbacks. They lost Mo Salah. They lost Virgil van Dijk. You've heard him talk about the injury, which he hopes isn't going to be too serious. They required some help. Help from Alison Becker after Sadio Mane had missed his penalty. He's a mightily relieved man now. It was a brilliant spectacle. And the Liverpool fans have certainly stayed on in their numbers to enjoy the celebrations, and quite rightly so. I think Jürgen Klopp's enjoyed the celebrations as well. The Duke of Cambridge puts a medal round the neck of Jordan Henderson. And he is about to hand the latest piece of silverware to the Liverpool captain. He shakes a few hands before grabbing the handles. <coughs> and now the big moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a red letter day at Wembley. Finally, Liverpool can call themselves FA Cup winners again. The first captain since Steven Gerrard 16 years ago to hold aloft the most famous trophy of all. And in its 150th year, maybe it is fitting that it is English football's most decorated club that lifts it again. Liverpool win the FA Cup final at Wembley for the first time since 1992. So expect them to make the most of it. I think somebody needs to tell Lewis the as the lid came, I think, right? Well, that's the thing, isn't it? When you want it a couple of times, you can say to people, watch out for the bottom, watch out for the bottom, watch out for the bottom, do you know what I mean? Brilliant, brilliant. Oh, fantastic. Well done, Liverpool. And you would imagine, even if the, even if the league title does drift away, which it looks like, mm -hmm. this will put them in a completely different frame of mind going to Paris for the Champions League final. Yeah, it will. But you'd have to say that looking at this game and the players that have like, linked out of it, that's, um, and they've got a massive game on Tuesday, like Jordan Henderson said, you know, it's starting to take its toll. So, again, it comes down to the mentality of this team and what's, what they're capable of doing and how they can continue to find the strength to get over, to, to put City under pressure. Because, you know, you look at City at the moment, driving City, and they don't look like they're going to slip up. So Liverpool have to make sure that they're there, ready to put them under pressure. More reaction to come then after this break. Liverpool win the FA Cup. More disappointment from the spot for Chelsea. <laughs> 